Hello friends, I'm still not Jim Nance, I'm Kurt Berglund, and I want to talk with you today about a very serious, serious matter. It has come to my attention, upon reviewing a few of my recent YouTube videos, my friends, it seems I am bald. Now, I'm not talking about comb over bald, I'm talking about bald, bald. Cue ball, bald. Shiny chrome dome, bald. And let me just assure you, I am not happy about this. I don't know who is responsible. Oh, it's easy to, gram to blame grandpa. But that doesn't seem fair. No, I think it's something else. Something more sinister. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Here we go. Today, a uh, new game on the channel uh, that I have recently discovered. Uh, my good friend Tony on CD, uh, C and D uh, Baseball on YouTube. Uh, showed it a few weeks ago, and I got interested, and now I am hooked. It is classic replay baseball, and I am going to start a, I guess, a regular feature of the Game of the Week on my channel, and we're going to start with a replay of the Game of the Week from June 9th, 1979, and I selected that game because there is a video of this game on YouTube uh, that you can check out. If you have not, it is a fantastic game. Uh, lots going on, lots of managing, lots of strategy, great performances, big names, everything you'd want, really. And extra innings. So... There's that. I won't spoil the outcome of the original game, but I will tell you it's definitely worth checking out. So June 9th, 1979, uh, the opponents were the New York Yankees at the 1979 Kansas City Royals. Couple of things to tell you about before we get into this game. Number one, Reggie Jackson and Hal McRae were both injured and did not play in this game. Uh, number two, uh, Rich Gossage, Goose, had had his fight with Cliff Johnson already in this uh, season, and he was disabled. Sprained thumb, torn, th torn thumb ligaments, something like that. So he was gone for the season. Um, Thurman Munson died, of course, tragically about six weeks or so, seven weeks after this game. Um, but he was active and he did play in this game. Uh, the sixth place hitter for the Yankees in this game, his name was Daryl Jones. Not Rupert Jones, not Lynn Jones, not Rusty Jones, your car rust-proofing specialist, but Daryl Jones, uh, fresh up from Columbus, which was at that time the Yankees AAA team, and if you watch Daryl Jones swing, You'd know why you've never heard of Gerald Jones. But he was up for this game. And he was the sixth place hitter. Now, in classic replay baseball, you get many, many players. But you don't get all of the players. Now, I know that for many of us, that causes heads to explode all over this great land of ours, people. But if you hold your hands like this... Your head is less likely to explode when you find out that you don't get all the players with a particular game.
Because what does that lead to? When you don't get all of the players, that means you're not using the as-played lineups. And when we don't use the as-played lineups, people, heads explode all over this great land of ours. But again, what's your strategy? Right here. Hold that cranium together. So, in this game where Daryl Jones hit sixth, I'm going to be replacing him with a player that was active on the Yankees roster at this time, and that's Juan Benitez. So Juan Benitez will be the sixth place hitter. So this is not a purely as played replay. How does that make you feel? For the Royals, as I said, McRae is unavailable, but the rest of the lineup is available and carded uh, in this set. George Scott is carded in the set, but he had not yet been acquired by the Royals, and so he is not available in this game for me. The opposing pitchers in this game are a pair of lefties with remarkably similar approaches to baseball. Tommy John went for the New York Yankees and Larry Gura went for the Kansas City Royals, a couple of soft tossing lefties. And uh, I think with that, we are ready for the starting lineups. Yankees at the Royals, June 9th, 1979. It's our game of the week on classic replay baseball. Let's go to the starting lineups. For the visiting New York Yankees, Mickey Rivers led off batting first, as most leadoff hitters do in, the <laughs> in center field. Batting second at second base, Willie Randolph. Batting third at catcher, Thurman Munson. Batting fourth in right field, Lou Pinella. Batting fifth at third base, Greg Nettles. Batting sixth, the DH. Juan Benitez, batting 7th at first base, Chris Chambliss, batting 8th in left field, Roy White, and batting ninth and playing shortstop, it's Bucky Dent. And in classic replay baseball style, you can see that the lineup for the Yankees fits right on top of the Larry Gura pitching card. For the homestanding, Kansas City Royals, it's Willie Wilson leading off in left field. UL Washington batting second at second base. Amos Otis batting third in center field. George Brett batting fourth at third base. I'm sorry, batting fourth at first base. Al Cowens batting fifth in right field. Daryl Porter batting sixth. He is your DH today. John Wathen batting seventh. He's the catcher. Freddie Potek batting eighth. He's the shortstop. And batting ninth and playing third base, it's Todd Cruz. And once more, note how the classic replay cards fit right on top of the pitcher's card. Top of the first, it's Larry Gurr against Mickey Rivers. It's a 3-1, that's a 3 on Gurr's card. A 4 from Mickey Rivers' card. And that will be a fly ball... No, eight, seven. That's going to be a base hit to left field, and that is going to be a single. Mickey Rivers is aboard, and that'll bring up Willie Randolph. And Bob Lemon, being that Bob Lemon kind of manager that he was, is going to put on the hit and run. And a roll our cards down here a little bit. One on Gura's hit and run is a four. One on Randolph's hit and run is an eight. And that's going to be a base hit to right field. Al Collins is going to collect it and fire it back in. But it's runners at first and third for the Yankees with nobody out in the top of the first. Thurman Munson coming to the plate. Infield's going to play halfway. The pitch is a 5-1, that's a 3 for Gura, and a 3 for Munson in column 5. That makes 6. And that's going to be a walk, and the bases are now dripping in the top of the first for Lou Pinella. Reggie Jackson out of the lineup. 
with a calf strain. And so Lou Pinella is up. Infield again halfway, bases loaded. The pitch to Sweet Lou is a 4-6. All right, the six gets us a two on Pinella. They are halfway. And it's hit to the shortstop. That's Freddie Patek for the Royals. He is a three. That makes five. Patek gloves it. He goes to UL Washington at second for one. And the relay to George Brett at first base makes a soul-crushing, rally-killing double play turned by the Royals as Rivers scores from third. And Willie Randolph advances to third, but now there's two outs for Greg Nettles. one nothing Yankees. 6-6, six, six. that's a 4 for Gura, and that's an 11 for Nettles, and that's column 6. And that's a 17, my friends, and that's going to hit deep to left. Willie Wilson's going to go back, but he's going to have room and make the catch for the out. Yankees score one in the top of the first, and that's all. It could have been much, much worse for Larry Gura. Bottom of the first, it'll be Wilson. Washington and Otis coming up for the Royals against Tommy John. <clears throat> Shoot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five is a one for John. And a one for Wilson is a two. That makes three in column five. That is grounded to Greg Nettles. He gloves it. And fires to Chris Chambliss for the out. There's one gone in the bottom of the first. Now it's UL Washington taking over for the injured Frank White at second base today. I didn't say it, but White is also not available uh, in the game today. That's going to be a fielding column. That's a five. The infield is back. And that's hit to the shortstop. And that's Freddie, I'm sorry, that's Bucky Dent. Dent is a two. Add it to Washington's five. And... Bucky's going to make that play to Chambliss for out number two. And here comes Amos Otis. Tommy John was pitching very well at this point. In fact, he had a good 79 season. The pitch to Otis is a six. That's a one from John's card. A five. Makes 16 on Otis's card. That's 17 total, and that's hit to left and deep. But Roy White is back, and he will put it away for out number three in the first. We've played one, and it's one nothing Yankees. All right, here comes Benicas. Who wanted to be traded at this point because he didn't think he was playing enough. So Benitez in there against Gura. Didn't play in the real game, the pitch. It's a one, that's a three, plus one makes four. And hey, struck him out. Gura gets him with a sinker. And there's one gone in the second. Now it's Chambliss, the seventh place hitter. Gura's pitch is a 5-3. That's a 3 on his card, and a 3 makes 6. And we're going to look at column 5, and he walked him. He walks Chambliss with one out, and here comes the 8th place hitter, the struggling at this point, Roy White. Gura the stretch, and the pitch to Roy is a 3 and a 2. And hey, struck him out. That's his second strikeout. And that'll bring up Dent with Chambliss still nailed the first base. Gura's pitch is a one. That's another three plus five. Makes eight in column one. And he pops it up. 
That's Freddie Patek on the infield, and he will take it for out number three. So we played one and a half, and it's one nothing Yankees. John will face Brett, Collins, and Porter in inning number two for Kansas City. Tommy winds and delivers. That's a five four. That's a one, and the four is a makes a three. And column five, and that's grounded to Nettles. He's got it and throws to Chambliss for out number one. Now it's Collins. Just getting over being hit in the face by Ed Farmer. Uh, this is a seven. We're in fielding column. They're playing back. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, they're playing back. It's a six, that's a seven, and a goes to UL Washington, I'm sorry, goes to Willie Randolph, who is a two, and that makes nine, and he throws him out at first base to Chambliss for out number two. Now it's Porter, the DH, having his best year uh, of his big league life. Uh, that's a three on John's card, plus 30, makes 33 in column one for Daryl Porter. And that is a walk. So a two-out walk will bring up Wathen doing the catching today. John the stretch, the pitch to Wathen is a 5-2, that's a one, plus a two, makes 33 in column five. Hey, he struck him out, and that's Tommy John's first strikeout. So we've played two complete, and it's one nothing. Yankees. Top of the order for New York in the third. Rivers, Randolph, Munson. 6-4 is a 4 for Gura. A 57 for Rivers makes 61 in column 6. And that's going to be trouble down into the left field corner. Willie Wilson's got to go get it. Mickey Rivers is going to have himself a double to lead off the third. And now it's Randolph. Gura, the stretch, checks Mickey at second. The pitch home is a 4-2. That's to... With the infield back, that's to UL Washington, who's going to make the play to George Brett for out number one, and Rivers goes to third. Yankee in, or Royals infield will stay back. Now it's Munson. Gura looking for a pop-up or a strikeout. The pitch is a 4-2. That's a 1. And that's a 1 from Nettle, from Munson's card. That's it to Washington. He's going to make the play to first as Rivers scores. And Thurman brings home run number 2 for the Yankees. 2-0 New York. And now it's Pinella with 2 outs and nobody on. 4-5 is a 1 on Pinella's card, and that's hit to Freddy Patek, who's going to throw to Brett, and that'll retire the side. So Gura has his sinker working, but the Yankees get a run across uh, after the leadoff double by Rivers. So bottom of the third, 2-0 New York, and it's Patek, Cruz, and the top of the order with Wilson facing John. This is a 4-4, four, four, that's a 1. And that's grounded to Bucky Dent. He fires to Chambliss for out number 1. Now it's Todd Cruz playing third base today. So 3 and a 10. That makes 13 in column 1 for Mr. Cruz. And that's grounded up the middle for a base hit. That's the first hit for the Royals today by ninth place hitter Todd Cruz. And here comes Willie Wilson. One out, one on. John the stretch checks Cruz. The pitch is a 1. That's a 3 on John's card. And 3 more from... Wilson's card, and hey, struck him out. It's a broccoli 
cauliflower medley. Tommy John throwing gas. Actually, I think that's a sentence that's never been said. I'm wrong, Tommy John fans. Don't send me an email. I know he threw hard in the 60s. But by 79, not so much. UL Washington, two outs. Cruz at first. UL's 0 for 1. The pitch, 2 4. That's a 2. That's a 4 on John's card. And a 16 on UL's card. That makes for 20. In column 2, that's hit to center. And here comes Mickey Rivers. He's going to put it away for out number 3. We've played 3 complete. And it's 2 nothing Yankees. In the Yankee fourth, it's Nettles. Benitez, and then Chambliss. Pitch to Greg is a 4-3. That is a ground ball to Todd Cruz. He's going to come up with that one. And fire to first for out number one. Juan Benitez is oh, I'm sorry. Juan Benitez is zero for one. Pitch to the Yankee DH. It's a two. He's a four and a three makes thirty nine X. So thirty three in column two with the old X after it. Uh. So we got an injury chance, but we're not going to do injuries. 243, comeback or gloved by Gura, and he's going to turn and flip to Brett for out number two. And now it's Chambliss. Yankee first baseman drew a walk, but did not advance back in the second inning. 6 3 is a 4, plus 3 is 20 in column 6 for Chambliss, and that is deep to center, driving Otis back, and he will make the catch. And Larry Gura has his first 1 2 3 inning. We've played 3.5, and, and it's 2 0 Yankees. For the Royals, in the bottom of the fourth, it's Otis Breton Collins, 3 4 5 hitters. John's pitch is a one and a seven makes eight in column five. He walks Amos. Now the Royals can do a whole lot of things here. With Amos at first, yeah, they're gonna put him in motion and see what Brett can do. John the stretch, the pitch, there goes Amos. And uh-oh, there's a 1 for John, and there's an 11 for Brett. That makes 12. And I should not have put <laughs> the, the old hit and run on, but I did. So, runners will attempt to steal. Now, Brett swings through the... Tommy John fastball. Munson is a four, so if it is a five or six, Amos is going to steal that base. He stole second, so Brett strikes out. That's John's third strikeout. And Amos does steal second safely. Now, it's Cowens. But if I hadn't put the hit and run, eh, you can't do that. You can't do that to yourself. Cowens 0 for 1. One out. Otis in scoring position. The pitch from John is a 1-1. That's a 3 plus a 15. Makes 18 for Al Cowens in column 1. And that's a base hit. Drops in front of Roy White. Uh, okay. So White's a three. We're going to roll a die. If it's a one, if it's a four, five, or six, he's going to boot that. He does not boot it. Otis stops at third on the single to left, and Collins is safe at first. It's first and third for the Royals with one out, and here comes Porter. Yankee infield halfway. John the stretch and the pitch is a 4-1. That's a fielding column. They're halfway. That's an 18. Plus 
plus it's hit to Dent. Bucky is a two, that makes for 20. And it's off of Bucky Dent's glove. Everybody's gonna move up 90 feet. Otis scores from third, it's two to one now. And it's an infield hit for Porter. First and second, one out. And now it's Wathen. Yankee infield still halfway, still looking for a double play. 2-1 Yankees now, bottom of the fourth. Pitch to John is a 4-5, that's an 8. We're in the fielding column, they're halfway. It's to Dent. An 8 plus 2 makes 10. Dent gloves it, goes to Randolph for 1. The relay to Chambliss is not in time as Wathen, with good speed for a catcher, beats... The wrap at first. Collins advances to third. Porter is forced on the fielder's choice. There's two outs now. Wathen at first. Collins at third. Two outs. 2-1 two Yankees. And the batter, Freddie Patek. 5-2 is a one. Plus one makes two in column five for Patek. Ground ball, Nettles. Greg gloves it and throws to Chambliss, and the Royals get only one run out of all of that. On two hits, they lead two. And after four, it's 2-1 Yankees in Kansas City. In the fifth, it'll be White, Dent, and Rivers. Four, two is a four on Gura's card. Six makes for 20 in column two. That's hit to center, but not deep. Amos is under it, and he's got it for out number one. Now it's Dent. Bucky is over one. Gura's only allowed three hits. It's a five, which is a three on Gura's card, plus one makes four. Four in column five for Dent. Ground ball UL Washington. He flips to Brett and there's two gone. And now it'll be Rivers. Two outs and nobody aboard for Mickey. Pitch to, from Gura is a five. Column four, that's hit to Patek. And Freddie's going to glove that and make the play for out number three. Nine in a row retired by Gura. We're halfway through this one. It's Yankees two, Royals one as we go to the bottom of inning number five. Bottom of the fifth, Todd Cruz, Willie Wilson, UL Washington for Kansas City. They're down 2-1. 1-1 one, one on John's card is a 3. And 1-1 one, one on Cruz's card is a 10. So you can see that's a 13 in column 1. And that's lined to center field for a base hit. That's Todd Cruz's second hit of the day. And he's aboard with nobody out for Willie Wilson. Well, now the Royals have some strategic options here as well. Hmm. But Wilson is such a weapon, I'm not going to have him bunt. The pitch to Wilson from Tommy John is a one, that's a five five. That's a one on John's card. It's an eight on Wilson's card with a G. That's a nine in column five. And he walked him. All right, so there's two on now with nobody out and it's UL Washington. And I think now it's time to bunt. So, John the stretch, the pitch to Washington is 
a three. We're doing the infield halfway. The sacrifice, the three is a four on Washington's card. It's a good sacrifice to Nettles, who fires to Randolph covering first, and the runners move up. Cruz to third, Willie Wilson to second, and we're in the bottom of the fifth with one out now. Tying and go ahead runs in scoring position for Otis. John in a jam. Amos 0 for 1. He stole a base and scored in the fourth. The pitch. Brett is on deck. A 4 puts it in the fielding column. A 3 makes for 9 on Otis's card. The infield is back. So that means the 9 shows up as a... Grounder to Nettles. He is back. Cruz breaks for the plate. Greg takes the out at first to Chambliss, and the score is tied at two. Otis gets the RBI. Wilson advances to third with two outs. And now it's Brett. Now this is interesting. In the actual game that you can see on YouTube, they were walking people left and right. And uh, Bob Lemon and Whitey Herzog couldn't wait to walk somebody, which is really interesting. Intentionally. So, but I think, I don't think he'd walk Brett, so I'm going to have him pitch to him. It's lefty lefty, so I think that's what matters to Bob Lemon, so that's what we're going to do here. Wilson at third, two outs, one run in, tie game at two. We're in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch to Brett is a 3-3. That's a three on John's card. It's a 14 on Brett. We're in column three. That makes 17. And that's hit to center field, and that's going to get over Mickey Rivers' head. Wilson scores easily from third, and thanks to George Brett, it's a 3-2 Royals lead. Now it's Cowens up, and now I think Bob Lemon would walk Cowens with first base open to get to Porter. So we're going to do that. Cowens gets the walk. Daryl Porter up. Lefty-lefty matchup. 3-2 Royals. Bottom of the fifth. Two outs. We'll see how Porter does. He's one for two with a ribby and a walk on the day. The pitch from John. A five is a one on his card. A two makes 32, so... That's 33 in column five for Porter. Hey, struck him out, and that retires the side. Third strikeout for John. Royals score two in the bottom of the fifth on two hits, and they leave two. We've played five, and it's Kansas City leading. 3-2. So top of the six, it'll be the 2-3-4 hitters for the Yankees. Randolph, Munson, and Pinella as the Yankees try to at least tie this score. Gura's pitch to Willie Randolph is a one. That's a three, and a two makes 38 in column one. And that's grounded to Patek. Freddie's got it and fires to Brett. And 10 in a row retired for Gura right now. One out in the sixth. Now it's Munson. Thurman 0 for 1 with a ribby and a walk. 6-3 is a 4 on Gura's card. A 3 on, on Munson's card makes 20 in column 6. That's high and deep to center field. Otis back and puts it away for out number 2. Two gone in the sixth, and now it's Pinella. Lou is 0 for 2. 4 6, that's fielding column. 2 for Pinella's card. And it's grounded to UL Washington, who makes the play to Brett, and 12 in a row retired for Gura. 
We've played five and a half, and it's three, two, Kansas City. Bottom of the sixth coming. For Kansas City, the bottom third of the order. Wathen, Patek, and Cruz. Pitch from John is two column. That's a four plus 16 from Wathen's card is a 20 on column two. And that's hit to center field, but not deep. Rivers under it and puts it away for out number one. Now it's Patek. Pitch to Freddie from John is a five, and that's a one. And an eight on Patek's card makes for nine. And that's a walk. Cruz up, one out, one on. Cruz two for two, he scored a run. John the stretch and the pitch, looking for a double play grounder. That's a one on John's card, five, five. Plus seven on Cruz's card is another walk. So John's control, not good right now. Tommy has walked five hitters and one more intentionally in this game. One on, two outs for Wilson. Yankees going to get some action going in the bullpen. And going to be Davis and Cott, double-barreled action. Ron Davis, Jim Cott, throwing in the bullpen for the Yankees. Two on, one out, pitch to Willie. Three, six, it's a three on John's card. The six makes for a 52, so that's a 55 in column three for Willie Wilson. It's a dribbler to the mound. Now, Willie Wilson might have been the fastest man in the majors in 79. I would say he probably was. So, they're not going to try and make the play at first. He's going to turn and try and get Patek going to third. Patek is a four. So, on a five or six, he gets him at third, throwing to Nettles. He gets him at third on a fielder's choice, throwing two nettles. Cruz advances to second, Wilson safe at first, and now there's two outs. UL Washington is at the plate. UL is 0 for 2 with a bunt. 1-4, one, 1 is a 3 on John's card, plus 3 more on UL's card. Hey, struck him out, and that's strikeout number 4 for John who has gotten through the sixth inning. After six, 3-2 Kansas City. In the seventh, Gurr will face Nettles, Beniquez, and Chambliss, lefty, ready, lefty. Yankees need a run to tie. The pitch to Greg, fielding column. It's a one, and that goes to Todd Cruz, who's going to glove it and fire to first, and 13 in a row retired for Gura. One gone in the seventh. Now it's Benitez. Juan is 0 for 2. 4 6 is a 1. That's grounded to UL Washington. He throws to Brett at first, and it's 14 in a row. Retired by Gura, and now it's Chambliss. 2-3. It's a 4 on Gura's card. The 3 makes for 4 on Chambliss's card. So it's 8 in column number 2. And he pops it up. Foul territory. UL Washington will take it for out number 3. 15 in a row retired by Gura. And he's throwing a 3-hitter. Time to stretch him out in Kansas City. Bottom of the seventh coming. It's 3-2 Kansas City. Three-two Kansas City. Otis, Brett, and Collins coming up. Amos. 
0 for 2, Ribby, run scored, stolen base. Three, four, five hitters this inning. It's a one on John's card. It's a five on Amos's card. And that makes six, and that's a walk. So he draws a walk, and now we got Brett up. Davis and Cott up again in the Yankee bullpen. George, one for three. Doubled in a big run, the go-ahead run, back in the fifth. Pitch to him is a fielding check. Four, that's a three, that's a five on Brett's card. They're playing halfway. And it goes to Nettles. Nettles is a two, that makes seven. He goes to Randolph for one. The relay to Chambliss is not in time. Brett beats the rap. And Otis is retired 5-4 on the fielder's choice. So with one out, Brett's at first. And now Collins. Al, one for two. Pitch from John is a one. Plus two from Collins' card makes three on column five. And that's grounded in Nettles. He, one more time, goes to Randolph. Willie pivots and fires to Chambliss. Not in time. Collins beats the rap as Brett is forced at second. There's two outs now for Porter. John's pitch, two, that's a four, plus six, makes 20 in column two. And it's hit to center. Mickey Rivers over a few steps into right center, but he's going to put it away for out number three. John gets through the seventh. We have played seven. It's 3-2 Kansas City. We got a good one. Just like in real life, Gura, top of the eighth, faces White, Dent, and Rivers, unless I make some changes. Roy White will pinch hit, will hit, sorry, will hit 3-5. That's a 3 on Gura's card, a 30 on White's card. That makes 33. And it's lined to Cowens in right field. He's coming on. He makes the catch. 16 in a row retired by Gura. I could hit for Dent here, and believe me, it's tempting. But there aren't good candidates from the right side of the spectrum, hitting-wise, so he's going to bat. It's a 2, that's a 4, plus 4, that's hit to center, center field. One more time, here comes... Otis, and he puts it away for out number two. Boy, Gura is just dominant here. Rivers coming up. Two outs in the eighth. Two five, that's a four, plus a 16. It's center field. It's Otis. He's got it. And that makes for 18 in a row retired by Gura. Nobody has reached since the third when Rivers doubled and later scored in the inning. We are 3-2 Kansas City right now. In bottom of the eighth, John still on the mound. Davis and Cott are ready. Wathen, Patek, Cruz, seven, eight, nine batters. The pitch, two, two is a 16, two is a four, 16. That's center field. We've learned that one. Mickey Rivers makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now it's Patek. Freddie, 0 for 2 with a walk. Royals would love an insurance run. Yankee infield playing back. This is seven. That's hit to Dent. He gloves it and fires to Chambliss for two outs. And now it's Cruz. Todd two for two with a walk. He scored a run. The pitch, 6-3 is a one. Plus 16 makes 19 for Cruz in column six. To right and deep. It's driving Pinella back, but he's going to get there and make the catch. After eight complete, it is 3-2 Royals. This is it. Gura is going to try and close this out. In the bullpen, 
is Al Raboski ready to come on? The mad Hungarian, but Gura's going to try and close this out. Randolph, Munson, Pinella, 2 3 4 for the Yankees in the ninth. The pitch, 6 1. The 4 on Gura. 16 makes 20 in column. Six, that's deep to center, driving Otis back, but he's going to make the catch. One down in the ninth. Nineteen in a row retired. Thurman Munson. Pitch from Gurra is trouble. This is a four. That's an eight. That's going to be left field line. There goes Wilson, and it's gone. Thurman Munson has left the building in the ninth inning. And it's a 3-3 three, three ball game as Gurra spits the bit. Two outs from finishing the job on the Yankees. Munson comes through with a clutch. One out in the ninth home run to tie it. Now it's Pinella, 0 for 3. The pitch to Lou. 6-2, it's a 4, plus 59, makes 63 in column 6. And that's going to be double down the line. Wilson's got to go get it. Lou around first. He's going to take second and stop there with a one-out double. Nettles coming up, and here comes Whitey Herzog. That's going to do it. Gura went eight and a third. Ravaski on to face Nettles, one out in the ninth. Three, three. By rule, Gura should have been out of this game, but there's no way Herzog would have taken him out, so I left him in too. All right, so Nettles 0 for 3, Pinella on second. The pitch to Greg from Raboski. One is a two, and that is strike three swinging. Broccoli, cauliflower, medley, gas from Raboski. Benica is up there now, 0 for 3 for 1. 5 1, that's a three. And that's three more. That's a six in column five. And he walked him. Two on now, two outs for Chambliss. Pitch to Chris. Four, three. Infield back. And that's gloved by Cruz. He's going to step on third all by himself. And that will end the Yankee ninth. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. That is 3-3. Now John's day is done. He has gone eight innings. And that's his limit unless he's pitching a shutout. So he's gone. It's going to be Ron Davis. Taking over, John allowed one, two, three, four, five hits, three runs. They were all earned. He struck out four and walked a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one more unintentionally. All right, so it's Davis's game, top of the order. Coming for the Royals in the bottom of the ninth. Willie Wilson, UL Washington, Amos Otis. Wilson's 0 for 3. The pitch from Davis is a 3-6. That's a 3 in Davis's card. A 52, column 3. So that makes 55 in column 3, and that's a dribbler to the mound. Davis going to have trouble getting him. Needs a six, doesn't get it. Wilson safe on a single. Infield hit. Speed kills. UL at the plate. And we're going to see a pinch hitter for UL Washington. It's going to be Steve Braun. To bat for UL. 
UL's day 0 for 3 with a bunt. Braun pinch hitting, nobody out. Davis the stretch, the pitch to Braun. There goes Wilson, it's the hit and run. It's a two, that's a one on Davis's card. And the white die in the batter's card is a 12. Uh, five makes 12, so that's 13. And the runner attempts to steal. Munson's a four. He's got to get a five or a six. He strikes out Braun. He strike him out and a throw him out. Double play. And we got two outs in the ninth now. Now it's Otis. Brett on deck. Six, five. That's a one on Davis's card. Plus 16 makes 17 in column six for Otis. That's to left and deep. Back goes white, and he puts it away for out number three. So we've got an extra inning ball game today. An extra inning ball game today. We go to the 10th, and it's 3-3. Three, three. Roboski gets six hitters, so he's faced three. So Marty Patton is warming up in the Royals' bullpen. He'll face, Roboski will face White, Dent, and Rivers at the top of the order in the tent. The pitch, it's a one, that's a two. Hey, struck him out. Second strikeout for the Mad Hungarian. Gas. Bucky Dent, 0 for 3. 4 1, that's a grounder to Brett. He's going to take it himself, and that's out number two. And now it's Rivers. Pitch to Mickey is a 2-2. Two, two. That's a 3, and that's an 11. That makes 14 in column two for Mickey. Base hit left field. So Mickey's aboard with Two out, and now it's Randolph. Roboski in his fatigue zone. The pitch from, Robo from Roboski to Randolph is a 17 on Randolph's card. They are playing back. It's hit to Cruz. He's a five. That's a 22, and it's a base hit. Rivers will stop at second. Randolph is on. Roboski's tired. Here comes Marty Patton. Roboski's numbers, one and a third innings pitched. Two hits. One walk. Struck out two. There's one. There's two outs in the tenth. Marty Patton is on. He is a right-hander. And he's facing Thurman Munson. Munson reaches, it's Pinella. Two on, two out, top of the 10th. Tie game at three, the pitch. Five is a one. And a three makes four in column five. And that will be grounded to new second baseman, Jerry Terrell. who makes the play and throws to Brett, and that retires the Yankees in inning number 10. So, bottom of the 10th, Davis coming on. He'll face Brett, Collins, and Porter. Four, five, and six for Kansas City. Any old kind of a run is going to win it, Cott is ready in the bullpen for the Yankees. The pitch for six is an 18 on Brett's card. That goes to Randolph. 
Willie is a two. That makes 20. And Willie's going to make that play. One down, bottom of the 10th. Now it's Collins facing Davis. 4-1. That's a one. And that's grounded to Chambliss. He's going to take it himself for out number two. And now it's Porter. Two outs, bottom of the 10th. Nobody aboard. Davis winds and delivers. That's a six. That's a one. That's a two. That's an eight. That's an eight in column six. And that's a base hit to left field. Porter is aboard. Wathen coming up. Could do a lot of things here. Could hit for Wathen, but then you'd have to catch Porter. No, you wouldn't. You could catch Quirk. So I'm going to hit for Wathen. It's going to be Lecoq to bat for Wathen. So Lecoq will pinch hit for John Wathen here in the 10th. Porter at first, two outs. Pitch from Davis. 4-5 is a one. That's grounded two. Short, I believe it is. Dent goes to Randolph the short way to retire the side. The tenth is done. The Royals fail to score. They do get one hit. Jamie Quirk will come on and catch in the top of the eleventh. And now. It's Patton for his first full inning of work. He'll face Pinella, Nettles, and maybe Benitez. Munson is done. He made the third out in the 10th. We're in the 11th. The pitch. Marty Patton, a one. That's a three. Plus 35 makes 38 in column one. And that is going to be a ground ball to Patek. He will glove it and fire to Brett for out number one. Now it's Nettles. 0 for 4 for Greg. The pitch from Patton. 1, 2. That's a 3. Hey, he struck him out. That's Marty's first strikeout. Nettles second. And with two outs, it's Benicas, but it's not going to be Benicas. Jim Spencer will pinch hit for Benicas. In the 11th, two outs, nobody aboard. Spencer having a good year in 79. Patton winds and delivers as a 3-5. Five. five on Patton's card, three on Spencer's card. Column three makes an eight. Base hit center field, Spencer's on. If there was less than two outs, I'd run for him, but there aren't. Patton will face Chambliss. And I'm dropping dice left and right. The pitch to Chris from Patton. Uh-oh. 6-3. That's a 3. And a 16 on Chambliss's card makes a 19. That's going to be hit deep to right. Collins back to the track. Collins to the wall. Collins makes the catch. And that retires the Yankees in inning number 11. We go to the bottom of the 11th. We're still tied at three. Ken Clay is going to start to throw. In the Yankee bullpen, it'll be Patek, Cruz, and Wilson. Davis is almost out of gas. He can face nine hitters. He's faced seven. Patek in there now. Patek in there now to face Davis. Five is a one, six is a two. That makes three in column five for Freddie Patek. And that's grounded to Nettles. Greg gloves it and fires to Chambliss for out number one. Now it's Todd Cruz. 
He's got two hits today and a walk. Two for three. Two one is a three plus 34 makes 37. And that's column two. And that's grounded to Randolph, and there's two down. Now it'll be Wilson. Davis in the fatigue zone. Four, five, is it four? That's a five on Wilson's card. And that's going to be grounded to Dent. Bucky throws and gets Willie at first by half a step. Retires the Royals in the 11th. We go to the 12th. And it's 3-3. Three, three. So to reset where we are, it's the top of the 12th. Roy White, Bucky Dent, and Mickey Rivers are coming to the plate. And Marty Patton has four more batters before he is in fatigue zone. It's a 4-5, which is... Grounded to first base, and that's Brett, and that's one out in the 12th. All right. Now it's Dent. And Dent is going to be hit for by Jerry Naren, backup catcher. So Naren pinch hits for Dent against the right-hander. And it's a 6-6, six, six. and that's trouble. That's a 3 for Patton. It's an 11 for Naren. That's a 14 in column 6, and that is right field and gone. 4-3 Yankees on a pinch hit home run by Jerry Naren. Fred Stanley will take over at shortstop in the bottom of the 12th. Wow. Jerry Naren. 1979 stats for Naren. 171 average with four homers and 123 at bats. I just had a hunch. All right, so now it's Rivers. In the bullpen, getting up for the Royals is Rennie Martin. I'm sorry, Steve Mingori and Ed Rodriguez, my mistake. Those two guys have been up since the start of the inning. Uh, now it's Rivers with one out. 5-3 is a 1. And 2 makes 3 for column 5. And that is grounded to Todd Cruz. He's going to throw out Rivers to make the second out of the inning. And now it's Randolph. And it's 1-2. That's a 3. And a 35 makes 38 in column one for Randolph. And that is grounded to Patek. Freddie's going to throw it to Brett, and that'll be three outs in the 12th. We go to the bottom of the 12th. The Yankees have taken a one-run lead, four to three. Can they make it hold up? The new pitcher for the Yankees will be Ken Clay. Not Bill Clay of Die Hard fame, but Ken Clay. Ron Davis went three innings. He allowed two hits. He struck out one, and that's, that's it. Jim Cott is warming in the bullpen. He has thrown a game and a half down there. All right, so it's Terrell. Otis and Brett in the Royals 12th. They need a run to keep it going. 6-2 is a 4 for Clay. It's a 59 for Terrell. That's a 63 total. And that's going to be doubled down the right field line. 
Janelle's got to go get it, and he will, and that's going to be a runner in scoring position with nobody out for Otis. Brett is next. Collins after that. Otis against Clay. Uh-oh. That's a 4 plus a 16 in column 6 makes 20. That's hit to center and deep. Rivers back. He will catch it. And then Terrell will advance to third. So Terrell's a third with one out for Brett. And here comes Jim Cott. So let's recap where we are. We are in the bottom of the 12th. Jerry Terrell, of all people, led off with a double off of Ken Clay. Amos Otis then flew out to center, which allowed Terrell to tag up and go to third on Mickey Rivers' arm. Now it's Brett, but Jim Cott is in to face Brett. Collins is on deck, and then Porter. The Yankees are leading 4-3. to three. It's the bottom of the 12th. Let's see what Brett can do. Terrell at third. The Yankee infield is in all around. The pitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a one on Cott. It's an 11 on Brett. This one's going to right and deep and down the line. Pinella to the wall, but it's gone. The Royals win on a two-run walk-off home run by George Brett in the bottom of the 12th off lefty Jim Cott. Terrell scores ahead of him. Let's give you the totals. For the victorious 1979 Kansas City Royals in this replay of a real game that also went into extra innings that you can watch on YouTube. The winning pitcher is Marty Patton. The losing pitcher, Jim Cott. There is no save in the game. It's a walk-off uh, for Brett. For the victorious Royals, uh, five runs on nine base hits, and they committed no errors in the ball game. For the Yankees, four runs on nine hits, and they committed uh, no errors. Thank you for joining me. Replay of a June 9th, 1979 ball game in Kansas City using classic replay. I'm Kurt Berglund. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the game. And there's more replay, current, and classic coming on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.